Yurchin script Yurchin, du, bitex, was the writing system used to write the Yurchin language, the language of the Yurchin people who created the Jin Empire in northeastern China in the 12th–13th centuries. It was derived from the Khitan script, which in turn was derived from Chinese Han characters. The script has only been decoded to a small extent. The Yurchin script is part of the Chinese family of scripts. History After the Yurchin rebelled against the Khitan Liao dynasty and established the new Jin dynasty in 1115, they were using the Khitan script. In 1119 or 1120, Wanyan Xian, the Chancellor of the early Jin Empire, acting on the orders of the first emperor, Wanyan Aguda, invented the first Yurchin script, known as the Large Script. The second version, the so called Small Script, was promulgated in 1138 by the Zizong Emperor, and said to have been created by the Emperor himself. According to the Jin Shi, in 1145 the small script characters were used officially the first time. There is no historical information about any original books that were written in Yurchin, but during the reign of Emperor Shizong of Jin a large number of Chinese books were translated into Yurchin. The translation program started in 1164. Among the translations were Confucian and Taoist classics, histories, and exam study guides. Unfortunately, not even a single fragment of any of the books survived. Most of the samples of the Yurchin writing available to modern researchers are epigraphic ones, those on monuments, etc., as well as a few short inscriptions on seals, mirrors, ceramics, graffiti, etc. A total of nine epigraphic inscriptions are known so far. The best known and traditionally thought to be earliest of them is the Yurchin inscription on the back of the Jin Victory Memorial Steel, Da Jin De Sheng Tuo Song Bei Da Jin De Sheng Chuo Song Bei, which was erected in 1185 during the reign of Emperor Shizong in memory of Wanyan Aguda's victory over the Liao. It is apparently an abbreviated translation of the Chinese text on the front of the steel. However, the undated inscription from Qingyuan in northern Korea is now thought to be older, surmised to have been created between 1138 and 1153. The only inscription dating from after the end of the Jin dynasty is the one on the steel erected in 1413 by the Ming eunuch admiral Yixia on the Tier Cliff, on the lower Amur River. No paper or silk manuscripts in Yurchin were known until 1968, when a Yurchin manuscript was discovered by E. I. Kihanov among the Tangut papers in the Leningrad branch of the Institute of Oriental Studies, now the Institute of Oriental Manuscripts of the Russian Academy of Sciences. It is written on two sheets of paper and dates to 1217. Writing in 1990, Herbert Frank, perhaps, not aware of Nujun Zishu, below, describes the Leningrad document as unique and not yet deciphered. Even more importantly, in 1979 Chinese scholars Liu Zuichang and Zhu Jiyuan reported the groundbreaking discovery of an 11-page document in the Yurchin script in the base of a steel in Xi'an Steel Forest Museum. This manuscript, containing 237 lines of Yurchin script around 2,300 characters, is thought to be a copy of New Jun Zishu, New Gen Zi Yurchin character book, written by Wanyan Xian himself soon after his invention of the large character script. According to its discoverers, this manuscript was a type of textbook, a list of large script characters, each one usually representing a complete word. This is different from the epigraphic inscriptions, which also contain phonetic symbols. The Yurchin script was apparently fairly widely known among Yurchins, which is attested by numerous graffiti, unfortunately, mostly illegible, left by Yurchin visitors in Bai Ta Pagoda in Hohat, Inner Mongolia. Yurchin script must have become much less known after the destruction of the Jin dynasty by the Mongols, but it was not completely forgotten, because it is attested at least twice during the Ming dynasty, on Yishiha's Tier Steel of 1413 and in a Chinese Yurchin dictionary included in the multilingual Chinese Barbarian Dictionary, Hua Yi Yi Yu compiled by the Ming Bureau of Translators, Si Yi Guan during the Yuan and Ming dynasty the Yurchin language continued to be spoken in Manchuria, where it later developed into the Manchu language. The latter, however, was written first in Mongolian script 1601, and later in a new Manchu script derived from the Mongolian script 1632, neither of which has any relation to the Yurchin script. 1526 was the year in which the final remaining recorded Yurchin writing was dated to. Topic. 
Structure of the script Yurchin script was based on the Khitan script, inspired in turn by Chinese characters. Apparently, both semantic and phonetic borrowing took place. Many Yurchin characters can be described as copies, or distorted copies of, Chinese and or large script Khitan characters with similar meaning. Others apparently were derived from Chinese characters whose sound was similar to that of Yurchin words, without semantic connection. There seem to be few Yurchin characters whose shapes can be related to the Khitan small character script, however, the idea of using phonetic symbols for grammatical endings, for phonetics transcription of Chinese loanwords, or for writing words for which there were no special ideograms, may have been inspired by the Khitan small character script. The Yurchin characters can be divided into two classes, according to their role. Ideographic characters, used to record either a whole word, one to three, but usually two, syllables long, or the first one or two syllables of a word, to be followed by one or several phonetic symbols. Phonetic characters, usually recording a CV syllable, a VN ending, or single vowel, however, the boundary between the classes was not precise, as some ideographic characters were also used for their phonetic value as parts of other words, comparing Wanyan Xian's New Jun Zishu with later inscriptions and Ming Dynasty dictionaries, one can detect the direction of the writing system's development from ideographic to combined ideographic phonetic. Many words originally written with a single character were later written with two or even three, the character originally designating the entire word being later used only for its beginning, and a phonetic character or two being used for the last one or two syllables. However, because Chinese is an isolating language and the Yurchin and Khitan languages are agglutinative, the script proved to be cumbersome. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Study of the script. Due to the scarcity of the surviving samples of Yurchin writing, it was often difficult to determine for the 19th century or sometimes even 20th century scholars whether a given inscription was in the large or small Yurchin script, or whether it was in Yurchin script at all. Thus, it was commonly thought in the 19th century by the Chinese and Western researchers that the Da Jin Wangdi Do Tong Jing Lu Lang Jun Xing Ji Da Jin Huang Di Do Tong Jing Lu Lang Jun Xing Ji inscription represented the Yurchin large script until, in 1922, the Belgian missionary L. Kerr discovered the Liao imperial tombs in Qingling, where this very script was used, in parallel with Chinese text, for the epitaph of Emperor Xingzong of Liao and Empress Renyi. Thus the Khitan script was discovered, and the Jin dynasty's Da Jin Wangdi Dotong Jinglu Langjun Xingji inscription, long thought to be written in Yurchin script, turned out to be written in the still undeciphered Khitan script and, most likely, Khitan language. After all, the pioneering work on studies of the Yurchin script was done by Wilhelm Grube in the end of the 19th century. <laughs> Yurchin small script According to the history of the Jin dynasty there were two different Yurchin scripts, a large script that was devised in 1120 by command of Wanyan Aguda, the first emperor of the Jin dynasty, and a small script that was created in 1138 by the emperor Zizong R. 1135-1150, but which was first officially used in 1145. However, all the extant examples of Yurchin writing, including the Sino-Yurchin vocabulary of the Bureau of Interpreters and various monumental inscriptions, are written in basically the same script, which is similar in form to the Khitan large script. Various theories have been suggested to account for the apparent lack of a Yurchin small script in the extant corpus of monumental inscriptions and manuscript texts. Daniel Kane has suggested that the large and small Yurchin scripts are points on a single script continuum. The large script was the earliest form of the Yurchin script, as represented in the manuscript Yurchin Character Book that was discovered in Xi'an in 1979, and the small script was the later form of the Yurchin script, as represented on the monument recording the names of successful candidates for the degree of Jinshi and in the Sino Yurchin vocabulary. The earlier and later forms of the script use basically the same set of characters, but whereas the characters in the Yurchin character book are largely logographic is nature, many of the characters in the Sino-Yurchin vocabulary and monumental inscriptions have developed a phonetic function, and can thus be used to express grammatical endings. 
Kane considers the large script to refer to characters used as logograms, and the small script to refer to character used as phonograms. On the other hand, Eisen Gioro Ulhiken believes that there were actually two separate Yurchin scripts a large logographic script modeled on the Khitan large script, and a small phonographic script modeled on the Khitan small script. During the 1970s a number of gold and silver peza with the same inscription, apparently in the small Khitan script, were unearthed in northern China. Eisen Gioro has analyzed the inscription on these peza, and although the structure of the characters is identical to the Khitan small script she concludes that the script is not actually the Khitan small script but is in fact the otherwise unattested Yurchin small script. She argues that this small script was only used briefly during the last five years of the reign of its creator, Emperor Zizong, and when he was murdered in a coup d'état the small script fell out of use as it was less convenient to use than the earlier large script. See also List of Yurchin inscriptions <laughs>